Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 18 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gauss's law. So for this one, first one, we look at the, this uh, system. It tell us this is a solid mental spherical object, right? Keyword mental. So that means this object is a conductor. From a conductor, the charge is uniformly distributed as a surface. Agree? The radius is given 3 meter. And the net charge is given negative 5.5 microcoulomb. Ask you the magnitude and electric field at at different region. First region is inside this uh, solid mantle. As we talk about for the mantle, uh, sp uh, for the conductors, for conductors, we can see mantle spherical is conductor. The net charge is distributed at the surface. Do you agree? At the surface. So inside this object, it, the charge enclosed the, is just zero. So it is zero because the electric field is zero. Agree? And also at the region 2.9 meter, it is still inside this object. So the electric field is still zero because no charge enclosed. The third one it becomes three point one meter. It is just outside of this uh, 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 this object. So now we can consider Gauss's law. For Gauss's law, we did this work, right? And we found this uh, electric field is is uh, net charge enclosed divided by four pi epsilon naught r squared. R is given, and this is. Net charge enclosed is also given at zero. Input given quantities get answer zero. So right, and then we look at the d. D is just changes the distance r. R becomes eight meters. Still, it is outside of this circle, and we still use Gauss's law. We can get the electric field density for this uh, spherical object in this function. Agree, and then the Net charge enclosed is still given at zero, so we get answer zero. This one ask you how would the answer different differ if this uh, spherical object is a is a thin shell is a shell. So there is no difference for the mental shell because for the mental shell this is still a conductor. The charges still uniformly distributed as a surface, so nothing changes, right? But if it is a non-conductor uniform the charged object, so keyword non-conductor, so that means the charges is uniformly distributed inside this object. Agree? Right? In this case, things changed. So at the inside, if we draw a circle, a Gauss, a circle, the charge enclosed need to be considered. Agree? So in this way, we can find the density for the charges. The total charge divided by its volumes look like this one, right? And if we draw a circle, if we draw a circle inside, we can see this charge enclosed is the density times its volumes, 4 pi r cubed divided by 3, and input the rho inside, we get the answer as this one. Now, for the inside, we still have the electric field density by using um, Gauss's law. So Gauss's law, you input the net charge enclosed, right? Input it there, so you get the function look like this one. And for the outside, for the outside, you can see, for the outside, for the circle outside, the net charge enclosed is just as a Q. So you don't need to do anything, just the Q. Agree? It looks like this one. And so in different regions, like inside regions, when the R changes from 0 0.25 to 2.1 meters, we use the first equation to get answer there. And for the distance 3.1 meter to 8 meters, we know it is outside of this object. We use the function 2, right? Get answer there. Thank you.